This is Kissam Avenue. And if you go down to the end, you see that some of those houses are gone. I mean, they're completely wiped away. They're in the marshland. One guy was on his roof, and he went two miles. He's lucky to be alive. I don't know how I'm alive, but I'm alive. This house was built by me. You know, it was a bungalow when I bought it. I built it into what I felt was a mansion. That's my house right there. It's a brand new roof I put on myself. We went to sleep listening to the waves. We woke up and drank coffee looking at the ocean. It was beautiful here. You know, very wealthy people get that. Not middle class people like me. You know, I had no intention of ever leaving here. But now, the insurance money that I've gotten so far, it won't rebuild a house in New York City. I don't see me coming back here. I think the best is to leave. You know, I've been through some things in my life, you know, Iraq, the Trade Center, and I dealt with it. But this is, you know, it doesn't go away. You can't just, you know, hide this one in the back. It's there. You know, and I, I'm not working right now. I'm at half pay. You know, I come here every day and I check on the house. My wife tells me I shouldn't come back no more. It's, it's, not, it's not affecting me well. You know, we used to spend summers in the backyard enjoying what we had. Now we enjoy the world. You know, we'll, we'll you know, the local world, you know, we'll go out, we'll go to a water park, we'll, you know, go up to the Poconos. Anything we can do to have a good time with the kids and make new memories after the storm. An entire neighborhood got together and said, we want to sell. And it was easy for the governor to come in and say, all right, you know what, I'm going to buy Oakwood Beach first. Why? Because everyone wants to leave. It's tough to come down here. I, I try not to come down here anymore, you know. It doesn't affect me well. You see everything you lost. You, know, you see your life that was here and how much has changed in eight months. We built a road right out here. And they went out there with an excavator and they tore the house down. It was ripping down a piece of my life. You know, it was ripping down everything I worked for. You know, I think it took 16 trucks to take that, take all the debris away. And they took the, they tore the house completely down, with all my belongings, and, you know, drove it out of here. I like to say that one day I'll be able to bring my kids over here and, you know, walk them around in a park and let them see where we used to live. I'll never forget where I lived, but hopefully we'll move on and we'll, we'll end up in bigger and better. <laughs>